good afternoon to everyone so today we are going to solve a problem on finding efficiency of an solar panel and finding out the maximum power generated by an solar panel so in this problem the given data is uh, the area of the solar panel okay so this is your solar panel take an example we will calculate the efficiency of the solar panel by after completing this problem okay so the area given in our problem is uh, 100 centimeter square and this solar panel is giving uh, open circuited parameters uh, which is nothing but open circuit voltage is uh, 0.5 volts open circuit voltage means this is a voltage generated by solar panel under which load condition no load condition is not connected to any load and the short circuit current given by the panel is how much 3.5 ampere this is also under which condition no load condition okay so these are the maximum voltages and currents uh, that can be generated by our solar panel having an area of uh, 100 centimeter square this is what the data given and it is mentioned in the panel that uh, this panel can generate uh, a maximum voltage at mpp is 0.5 volts and this panel can generate uh, a current of uh, 3.1 ampere so for example a panel is given to you with this specification and we want to identify whether this panel is a good panel or an bad panel or what is the aging effect of this panel is that's why we need to calculate uh, the performance indices of this uh, solar panel or identified by two parameters uh, first parameter is fill factor next parameter is efficiency of the solar panel so this fill factor so while you solve the problem you may get doubt whether my answer is correct or wrong you can verify the fill factor ranges from 0 to 1 so minimum value is 0 maximum value is 1 and the efficiency ranges from the range of 20 percent to maximum 30 percentage with the available technology what we have already in the class you have been studied about what are the different solar technologies we have mono crystalline and poly crystalline and thin film technology what is the maximum that will be delivered which is nothing but mono crystal that will deliver how much amount of percentage efficiency 30 percentage is only the panel with highest amount of efficiency so this is all the data given to us now let's try to compute whether the given data or the whether given a solar panel is efficient or not and how much fill factor it is going to have okay so let's try to calculate so first one in order to calculate it we need to calculate the fill factor we need to calculate the fill factor so fill factor is given by the formula maximum voltage of the solar panel multiplied with the maximum current generated by the solar panel under loaded condition divided by the open circuit voltage given on the nameplate details of the solar panel multiplied with the short circuit current of the solar panel when you multiply it already you can see here this data is already given in the problem what is vm value 0.5 volts what is the current given to us 3.1 ampere divided by so what is voc what is the voc given to us under no load condition 0 0.5 volts uh, multiplied with uh, 3.58 so try to calculate this value what is the value you are going to get here 0. 8 very good okay so now you got an fill factor of 0 0.8 it doesn't have any units why so upper is also in watts denominator is also in watts that's why watts watts will get cancelled out it's like a numerical figure it doesn't have any units so already i told it should range from where to where 0 to 1 how much you got 0 0.8 i can say that this solar panel with this parameter is having good fill factor okay now what is meant by fill factor so if the fill factor is higher i can say it is a good solar panel good solar cell or good solar panel okay so if the fill factor is as low as possible automatically i can say that uh, this is an inefficient solar panel so first uh, in the sense we calculate is fill factor as per the fill factor we are getting more than we are getting approximately 80 percentage i can say this solar panel is having a good fill factor so we find out uh, the fill factor so the next one we need to find out efficiency of the solar panel so the efficiency of the solar panel can be calculated uh, like this so efficiency is equal to so efficiency is equal to what is the formula for efficiency we have output 
power divided by input power so here what is the output power means so this is called output power where this is also called p maximum maximum voltage multiplied with maximum current is called maximum power so what is the maximum output power you are going to get it is a product of voc into isc into fill factor or directly we can write down vm into im so output power is how much 0.5 multiplied with 3.1 ampere why because this is the values of vm and im okay divided by input power so what is meant by this input power what is the input to a solar panel this is the output voltage generated by the solar panel this is the output current generated by the solar panel what is input to a solar panel is nothing but solar radiation where we are going to call this as a power density power intensity so what is this power intensity i mean flux density how to write down flux density flux per unit area so here we are going to write down it as a is nothing but power density means watt per meter square where this is called power density watt per meter square so if it is watts this is also in voltage into current what are the ultimate units you are going to have watts but denominator should have what watts then only watts watts will get cancelled we can express in efficiency but what is obstacle to us meter square so that's why you have to multiply with the area okay so in the denominator term what you have meter square but what is here centimeter square so convert into meter square 100 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole square this is how much 100 into 10 to the power minus 4 in terms of what meter square so i'm substituting that value as 100 into 10 to the power minus 4 into meter square so meter square meter square will get cancelled out so calculate this value so this is nothing but 1000 into so here how many zeros just calculate this value so you have three zeros two zeros into 10 to the power minus 4 is nothing but 5 minus 4 1 okay so multiply this value So, you are going to get 15 percentage as the efficiency of the solar panel. Now, what is the efficiency of the solar panel with the given parameters? How much you got? 0 0.15 multiply with 100. So, how much you got now? 15 percentage. Therefore, what is the efficiency of our solar panel? 15 percentage. So, I can say that the life of the equipment or the life of the solar panel has been degraded. If it is 15 percent, can you say what kind of cell it might be? Either it is monocrystal polycrystal or thin film polycrystal very good so good answer so the, the type of panel they are used is a polycrystalline so by seeing efficiency you can say that 15 percent efficiency will be general available for which kind of panels polycrystalline so i can say that the type of panel what they are used is a polycrystalline okay that's how to find out the efficiency of the solar panel so now hope that by the problem you are very clear that how the parameters influence so what are the performance indices of the panel panel first one is fill factor how much fill factor it is offering around 80 percentage and how much efficiency it is offering 15 percentage don't think negatively that 18 percentage is 15 percentage there means 85 percent is lost it's not like that so maximum a solar panel is a high quality mono crystalline can develop only how much amount of efficiency 30 percentage 70 percent loss is there why because the type of system is a dc system so therefore with the available system this panel is performing well with the given parameters this panel is well so similarly we'll try to do a problem on the solar panel what is there in our hand okay